जय श्री कृष्ण हरनाथ पागल हरनाथ पार्ट वन लेटर नंबर थर्टी फाइव एड्रेस टू अटल बिहारी नंदी भगवान एंड मिस्टर एंड मिसेस बंदोपाध्याय माई ओन ब्रदर अटल द अमाउंट ऑफ प्लेजर विच योर लेटर कन्वेइंग द न्यूज ऑफ द रिकवरी ऑफ माई मदर गेव मी is known only to him who sees through the heart do not know what exhilarating power your letter has else why should my heart be so thrilled the devotee of that fountain of delight is also full of delight and is therefore so pleasant and charming see that you keep an eye upon me since you do not always allow me to live near you do not drive me out of your heart brother i am happy that you still recall that old incident but why so much remorse on that account my own atal the jamuna naturally flows downwards and towards the deep ocean that course cannot be checked can a small stream resist the powerful attraction of the ocean thus attracted it gets surely merged in the vast deep whence it originated and then no trace is visible who is capable of stilling the jamuna's natural downward course there are two ways of effecting this one is to still the ocean if the rise and fall of the ocean can be stopped the rise and fall of the streams which take their origin from that ocean would also stop and the streams would become still but brother the rays of the sun drop the ocean water in the form of vapor which is turned into clouds and thus reduce the bulk of the ocean thus again the clouds transforming into rains fill the streams and this causes them to flow this reduction in the bulk of the ocean is not only extremely difficult but is altogether impossible the other process is in fact not the stopping of the natural flow of the river it is not letting the rivers emerging from the ocean to get merged in it again this is called turning the tide back this cannot be effected except with the aid of the melody of the flute holder's flute jamuna runs an upward course because she hears shri krishna's flute such a course saves her from destruction natural as this is it is also applicable to all created beings they having been born from the vast ocean like prakriti naturally run towards her to attain dissolution into her nothing can stop it prakriti is ever restless this is her natural trait and power so for this reason brother how can beings exercise control oh great are you prakriti really great with your smiles and tears are intermingled the smiles and tears of all creatures and objects conscious or unconscious right up to brahma blessed are your strength and action brother atal the only way of escaping the hands of this shoreless ocean is the strain of shri krishna's flute which renders inert and motionless even prakriti herself bowing therefore at the feet of prakriti the root cause of my being ought we not try to turn our ears to the music of the pipe the flute that is always playing and which the gopis are always hearing to their hearts delight that never stops and is heard by none except gopis joydev listening to this melody has written uttering your name and signaling to you 
the flute is being played softly brother the melody of that flute does never stop surrendering yourself entirely to this prakriti you may hear it will that day ever dawn on our fortune o braj wandering gopis will you ever have mercy upon us brother never willfully stir up this vast ocean with the slightest commotion of the waters of the deep fleets disappear like straw countless beings run to destruction with the slightest flutter of this ocean like prakriti may krishna preserve us may prakriti show her favor so that i may go through the game to play which i have plunged into such a dreadful and bottomless ocean brother bhagwan you know well that this is why ramanand submitted to lord gorango saying who can retain the balance of mind in your game of illusion it is very difficult to maintain equilibrium in this ocean of prakriti by pampering prakriti and by seeking the grace of lord krishna her leader and the lord of the universe a safe footing might perchance be had in whatever form whether as beast bird worm or fly prakriti is manifest we must look at her with an eye of veneration brother bhagwan brother bandapadhyay mahashay to think of remaining worryless in this vast ocean and to remain unhurt within the blazing fire covering oneself with cotton wool saturated with ghee are these two not almost the same truly great is your power o prakriti fully realizing this jayadev has said the chain that fettered the slayer of kansa to the desires of the world being radha's love for him he with her on his breast left the other beauties of braj the geeta also says purusha seated in prakriti enjoys the attributes born of prakriti what then of others when parabrahma himself replete with consciousness and joy getting into the sea of prakriti appears to flounder so much we are but vile as ashes let us therefore look at this vast prakriti always with fear and reverence through the grace of prakriti we may perchance one day behold the supreme lord pray we may not be deceived by regarding that force as my daughter my wife my sister etc prakriti in every form is adorable brother bhagwan i am floating in boundless joy to hear that through the grace of radha rani the signs of radha kund that is bhakti and prema have appeared in you blessed are you and blessed are we brother bhagwan tender my pranam to my mother tell her not to shake me off her feet her feet are the only safe resort may we stay there and have no fear offer my pranam to mother and gladden me by communicating the news of her complete recovery mr and mrs bandopadhyay both of you please accept my pranam blessed are you you have no equal kindly remember me do not forget me because i am extremely poor tender my love to nobakumar offering my heart's affection to sari tell her that i am myself longing to see her however all deeds depend on time desires are fulfilled only at the right time desires for any object therefore should not be entertained desires forge fetters but desires regarding krishna bring liberation encourage sari to advance farther and farther and to keep an eye on me brother bhagwan this time your letter came 
dipped in indescribable delightfulness which again being highly exhilarating enlivened my life and soul i am constantly thinking of embracing your sacred person in order to purify my unholy body if luckily a cloud appeared due to my misfortune it is fast moving away o oh, brother bhagwan those who have love to bestow why are they tossed about countless fresh and diverse waves are daily agitating the heart and filling it with emotions new and various brother why does the longing to see and show remains unsatisfied is your flute player so fond of the separation he himself does not stay near nor does he allow me to stay near him brother is it because i am a sinner then how did i get your company brother tell your dear krishna not to regard your unfortunate brother as a stranger any more ask him to count me as one of his servants and to gratify me i am totally unworthy you all are my hopes if through your help and merits ever do i succeed i shall consider my life to be meaningful brother am i destined for such a day you all know brother bhagwan there is no question that an alteration takes place by a dip in radha kund no ordinary alteration what is unattainable by endless austerities can be had by a single bath in radha kund do you not remember brother your natavar krishna had a deep dark color one day being unable to bear the pain of separation from radha he plunged into radha kund and coming out of the water after a while found that the inky color of his body had turned into a golden hue so he appeared before shrimati radha in the guise of a foreign lady when by a dip in radha kund your krishna was able to attain a fair complexion what wonder then that your mind should attain purity and germinate holy conceptions since by simply touching the waters of radha kund lord gauranga lost his consciousness in his ecstasy it is not at all surprising that by bathing in it you derive endless pleasure the very recollection of radha kund brings thrills in the mind and the body who knows what effects would a bath produce brother hari you are blessed for becoming the constant companion of hari who rambles about the bank of radha kund i am luckless you alone can say why your mind does not feel inclined towards the lord's name or to the recitation of sacred books even after a bath in radha kund why are you asking me brother i am totally ignorant and giddy with vanity is it right that an ignorant creature like me should be asked such a question you know your own sport and he who is yours also knows in govinda charita in bhaktamal there is a song i do not know its meaning i have only read it it runs thus o oh my mind serve the reassuring lotus feet of nanda's boy to hear sing remember slave and tend his feet to adore shri radha's companions and to surrender body and soul to him are what govinda das desires for perhaps that is why your mind does not want to be confined to the recitation of the name and to the reading of sacred books when a child grows up can it depend solely on mother's milk 
or does it with change of diet inclinations of the mind also change perhaps such a change has come over you brother hari atal my soul and respected bandhapadhyay mahashay please note that srimati radha heard the strains of the flute first then krishna's name then she saw his graceful figure and finally attained the highest bliss of feeling his touch once she heard his name did she care much for the melody of the flute when she saw his handsome features could name alone fully gratify her then again when she felt the pleasure of his touch could she remain satisfied by simply meditating upon his graceful person it is said in chaitanya charitamrita as well as in bivarta vilas gopis are not the lord of yogis why should they gain contentment by meditation of your lotus feet perhaps such is your condition now blessed thrice blessed are you brother do allure me in this manner by showing me now and then the path so that i may not remain a piece of iron forever do not take the name for name's sake bear in mind that it is his name if scripture should be read shouldn't they be read because they contain his praises if it is necessary to hear words which are very dear to the heart they should be heard in private look before the actual marriage when it is only talked about the name alone of the bridegroom gives pleasure to the bride after marriage she derives pleasure in thinking of the husband's features when intimacy first springs up she derives great pleasure to hear unobserved others talking of her husband then when intimacy deepens such things no longer fascinate her even if it does it is because of its relation to her beloved hence i say it is a thing which is not given up but which gradually diminishes and finally disappears altogether of its own accord as love rises in scale let all this go there is no end to a madman's freaks it is impossible to count the waves of the sea if he ever brings us that day we shall all dive in that sea and enjoy the pleasure i say this much however do not forsake me because i am unfortunate think of me at intervals yours horror joy shri kushmaranath